in all of this, right, is that this is very rich. Coming from a political party that boycotted a parliamentary process in the 90s. Very rich. Coming from a political party that boycotted parliament, a constitutional body in and of itself in the 90s. Very rich. Coming from a political party that illegally, forcefully, right, and in a very crude manner, removed a certain EC chair. This is rich. Coming from this cohort of people who call themselves a political party. Now, speaking against and saying that EC must be respected. You removed a sitting EC chair. You boycotted parliament. Boycotted a parliamentary process. Today, Alaji is referring to whatever we had in terms of or in Boycotts a form. Are them, are in themselves no, in, in a form. Eh? Of what is called the equal... Alaji, I didn't interrupt you. So if you give me that deal, I'll be mm. more glad. Thank you very much. So he said an ECOWAS, we used to have an ECOWAS register. Today, you've unleashed Samira Baumia. And Fufulde had become a lingua franca on the campaign platform. Who is she speaking to? The Fulani cohort. Where are they coming from? Not hey. the sub-region? And today hey. you sit here to say that we used to have an ECOWAS. Sorry, uh, an sorry. ECOWAS, what do you uh, say? The Fulani people are not Ghanaians? I'm not saying they are not Ghanaians. I'm telling you that the settlement, we have several ways of one becoming a Ghanaian. But you are making the point that we had an ECOWAS mm. register. Mm. And that is a negative on the part of the Let's NBC. make some clear mm. submissions so you don't send a miscommunication. No, I'm not sending a miscommunication. So what I'm saying, they are rather deceiving the Fulani community by saying that we are embracing you. Our, se our first, our second lady speaks for full day, come to rest. And today he sits back to say that it's an ECOWAS register. When some of them migrated from the sub-region. So we gave them that deal by allowing them as a political entity to be part of the process because we respect their rights. And constitutionally no, no, we believe no, 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 that no, they no. are still it is well not, it is not lie. as citizens. It is not lie. It is not lie. lie in you to and allow can, somebody can to qualify as a Ghanaian. Can you tell him? I'm emotional because no, of where I come from. You can't be emotional about anything. Okay. Yeah, so, when you have, so you look at all of these processes, right? When we talk about bastardization of the EC, what do you mean by bastardizing the EC? The points we raised. You said IPAC. Granted, were the points raised <coughs> at Kokomilele? Were the points raised at Adabraka? Were the points raised in your party's headquarters at Asylum Down? They were raised in IPAC, which is the appropriate forum for that to happen. So why does IPAC exist? I mean, my question is, Again, for we were asti asking the, a yeah, sorry, the NDC to come back to IPAC. Yeah, so some there. of these things can be addressed. Yes. So and if, the NDC if is, they are back, back, out mm -hmm. at IPAC, the appropriate forum is to make a case. And we are just not even doing that on our own. We are calling on the international community to be a part of this. That tells you the legitimate angle we're coming from. Mm. The UNDP, we said they're going to help in the audit process. And they're ever ready to do it because oh. they see reason in what we are doing. Again, for a party that took the EC chair, a sitting EC chair to court in 2012, our post-2012 elections, and held the entire country, international community, international businesses, and local businesses for months to ransom over a frivolous court issue. You have the right today to sit on national television to say that uh, no one should attack the EC. They are bastardizing the EC. Who has bastardized the EC, more than all of these activities, you have met it against it. Has the NDC ever taken the EC to court and held the country and a sitting president to ransom? The entire administration stalled for months. And you know how a new government or a government slowly kicks up to start. But you deliberately stalled the mm -hmm. process by going to court on very frivolous issues. Right. Discrepancies. So these are the things we as a responsible party say, look, let's avoid this. Nobody can hold the country to ransom by going to court on frivolous issues and going to throw your weight about in court. At the end of the day, nothing comes out of it. So can we iron these issues before we go to the ballot? And exactly what we are doing. We have not petitioned or sponsored a petition to get a sitting EC chair removed. We are going through the process, engaging stakeholders, bringing in the international community, calling on the diplomatic community to help us have a smooth process. He sat here, asking lyrically about them, uh, Aiden is the MPP that champion transparent ballot boxes and what have you. Evidence from where? No, those are factual. Oh, factual where? 
<laughs> Transferring right. In any case, boxes. <laughs> in any case, I don't understand this whole expensive venture of always <laughs> advocating for you know transparent this, transparent that. When the process of registration, a, a, a government that is boasting about digitalization, uh, what have you, right? You have a register that has discrepancies, not just discrepancies, significant discrepancies, illegal transfers, not happening from polling stations to polling stations, as he puts very simplistic, mm. but happening from constituency mm. to constituency. And that is very significant. And today, you sit here to say this. I can understand Alaji. He's got an injury time appointment, and he needs to really consolidate on it. Mm. He's now with the finance ministry. He hasn't told you. Uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, that one. Oh, when did okay. you leave? I'm not sure. Oh, you got an injury yeah, time well, appointment, I'm and you think that... Way. You yeah, think that if your party <laughs> lose, he, you know, he's been an outsider in the way. inside for a very long time. They just gave him an injury time appointment and he thinks that... I like the way you like to personalize it. Yeah, yeah, come to the main personalize it. That, uh, he's he's been an outsider. Come to the let's come to the main issue. But, 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 let me ask you this question. What's the problem with the forensic audit? I, I think that there's a CI. Mm. There's a CI that governs our electoral process. Mm -hmm. And I think it's CI one two six at this at this material time. And um, the EC believes that they've done everything. It, that doesn't mean that if the 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 demands of the NDC are heeded to, and then after filing, um, I heard that about over thirty people had actually requested to to to, to contest in the presidential elections. Mm -hmm. Is the EC going to listen to every one of them when they come with demands? What, what are you saying? What are you implying? The NDC today are it depends, making demands it on the on EC. What you're saying. The NDC today are making demands on the EC, telling the EC what to do. For me, you're not telling the EC what to do. Requesting you're, the EC. You're being very, very mischievous about that. They are not telling. Me. Let me just I'm sorry, okay. because of time, I just want him to respond to that. To but before I feel yes, okay. you're, you're not. No one is asking the EC what to do. The EC also has an obligation to listen to everybody that's a party they have, they have created a to platform. the election. The NDC is a party that also has a very heavy followership. So with your intelligence as an expert within the electoral um, processes, you know that you can cause chaos depending on the issues they raise. That's if you don't respond to them. So the EC itself must use an intelligence to address issues that will come up. Depending on the nature of the e of the but, issue, but, but the EC so is issues responded. concerning movement of names from one constituency, and it's not two, it's not three, it's not ten, it's in the thousands. I recollect that somebody's been fired from, is it a pussy guy or some, some somewhere up north? Yes, there's pussy guy involved of this, for somebody's um, um, commissions or missions within the process. So the EC itself has a way to ensure that its workers or its assignees at play per the rules of the CI governing the elections. So the EC itself is taking steps to ensure that these things are corrected. If, if, as and when they are.